Do you need to spend $5,000 or $10,000 or more on a custom van build in order to be living a great and awesome and fun van life? Yeah, no. All right, everybody. I thought we would pop into Ikea today because I'm looking for hooks and a few other things for my van. And while we're here, let's look for home furnishings for the van. Not my van, maybe your van. Yeah, this little spot that I'm in, <laughs> definitely not my cup of tea. Kind of looks like, looks like a girl's bedroom. The lights turn on in there. Bing. See, stuff like these are really cool ideas. Especially if you're in the van at night and you need to... God, these are so cool. Okay, where's the activator on this thing? How is this thing turning on? Oh, it's right here. How cool. It just... As soon as the door shut, it shuts off. Huh? Ikea, you're a genius. Gross. This underwear. And those are bras. <laughs> They're attached to the bottom. That's disgusting. Things like this, if you're not into building stuff, coming to Ikea, finding a place to put, you know, spices or books. Come on, for 20 bucks? Stuff like this is really cool. Oh, there's those lights again. I think these are awesome. I wonder what the power draw is on those. These places are full of some great ideas. Look at this, these are two curtains, two separate curtains, with a nice little rope tied together so you guys can make your blackout curtains over a dowel. That's amazing. Oh, what a simple idea. Yeah, guys, this is cool. Awesome. These cabinets are pretty affordable. $139 and you can custom design them. You can add drawers to some of them. You can do drawers on every single one of those. Using these with like the child safety locks that Ikea sells for all their cabinets would be pretty cool. Super simple. The plastic pegboard is a really great idea. Especially when it comes to strapping things on, you just want to clip in attaching bins and stuff to. Ah, oh, just so many creative ideas in here. Look at this. Clamp your hats on. I love this. <laughs> Feels like I'm walking around some stranger's house. Um, shopping in a place like Ikea or even coming here to get some design ideas for your van is pretty awesome because Ikea and stores like Ikea they focus on a lot of like small apartment stuff so they always have things that are hyper designed for smaller living I find these places to be quite inspirational for getting great ideas if you're looking for a chair that's van life sized <laughs> look how cute this one is See? Chairs built for vans. Chairs built for houses. Vans. Houses. Vans. Houses. I think it's rad. When I first moved into the van, it was a natural thought for me to think, okay, I gotta furnish my home now. Let's go to Ikea. Because that's always been my very first thought with any new apartment I ever moved into. Well, I moved into a new place. It's time to go to Ikea. Some people have a lot of opinions about Ikea. They're always like, oh, it's just particle board garbage. But you know what? You can get some damn good looking furniture that'll last you a few years, at least in a van. It may not be your permanent build forever, but at least it might bridge that gap between what you can afford now and what you might be able to afford after two or three years of living in that van and not paying any rent. So just to spend like thousand dollars at Ikea or $500 at Ikea, to build out a temporary van for now that's just gonna get you going is such a beautiful thing. There's so many ideas. Like those little hanging flower baskets. Man, you can put anything in those things. Look at that wall. Ideas like this. 
you buy that cheesy brick stuff from Home Depot or any hardware store and you slap some paint on it and distress it for the walls of your van, just cool. You guys getting any ideas? There's some cool ideas in here. Furnishing the inside of your new rolling home is going to be something that you've never experienced before. The inside of that van, it's not square at all. It's got weird angles, weird curves, bumps and stuff in the weirdest places, which makes it hard to put traditional furniture in. That's why sometimes you got to think outside the box. Look into like kitchen cabinets and bathroom furniture. Most people wouldn't think about that when it comes to decorating their front room. They always think front room furniture and then bedroom furniture for the bedroom. Well, inside the van, you're going to have to be just a little bit more creative. Some of you are probably thinking, what are you doing in those big kitchens, Chrome? Believe it or not, a lot of people use kitchen cabinets from Ikea to complete their van builds. When I first got into the van, I met a couple in a sprinter van and um, they used an Ikea kitchen in their van. They built a little island by the door, all with cabinets from Ikea. It was pretty freaking cool. So be creative and keep that open mind because you'd be shocked on what you can build inside of your van. Look at this perfect little sink. Guys, this is amazing. So sleek and clean too. So some people that have larger vans, like a ProMaster and stuff, you could easily install a small kitchen counter set up like this. Cabinets up top and on the bottom. So many amazing options here. And I bet you the staff here would happily help you out design a kitchen that would fit your space in the van quite nicely. Wow, you guys, these are beautiful. Oh man, what a good start to a van build too. Oh, these are amazing. Whoa, check this out. So you buy this piece and you put this piece up against the wall of your van. This table folds down, that arm pulls out, and you have an instant table. Look at that. Ignore that side. So you put this against one wall of the van, and anytime you need a desk or a table to dine at, Oh, that is such a cool little idea. I know there's some of you watching this video that have got so many ideas sparking in their mind right now thinking, whoa, I could actually build a good starter van at a place like Ikea or a furniture store that focuses on small furniture living for apartments. See, these furniture stores and any furniture store like this, they always have really creative small space storage ideas and it's perfect for a starter van build. You can build amazing vans in places like this. Look back six months at my van. It was beautiful, built with cabinets just like these. There's so many ideas in here. Like this little piece hanging here. I was like, whoa, what a great thing to line part of your wall with just to create a bit of texture or maybe make a divider curtain out of it. So cool. This is what I use to Hang my divider curtain. Look at the cost of that baby. <laughs> uh, this is the one I used. It's a bit bigger and a bit longer. Not bad, man. Come on, guys. Super affordable. Lots of blackout curtain options. Another pretty amazing idea for your walls are these canvases. Sure, they're framed here, but they don't come in the frames. You gotta buy the frames extra. You buy just the raw canvas. So you can just actually probably spray glue these things on the walls of your van. So cool. 
Oh guys, imagine this one. Right here along the wall of your van. Heck yeah. Well, that one's wild. So is this one. Damn. Wow. That would look amazing on an entire wall. I'm gonna try these things. 80 bucks. I don't know about you guys, but these are some genius ideas. Hopefully this video sparked a little bit of creativity in some of you that are watching this. I just want you to know that you can build your dream van out of anything. You can build it at Ikea, you can build it using the free section on Craigslist, or at the flea market. It doesn't matter where you get your furnishings, it's your home. Build it how you want to build it. You don't have to live up to the hashtag and have everything that the hashtag says you have to have. It's your van life. Build your van your way. Alright everybody, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys soon.